Hi, my name is Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net. I'm into you being the best side hustler, solopreneur, or otherwise non-traditional entrepreneur you can be. Today we're going to talk about Simon Sinek, the popular author and TED speaker uh, behind Start With Why, really good book. And he's talking about the one thing that you need to have success that most of us will not do. I actually agree with him a lot. Here's a quote that he had from a recent podcast. He says, we have to understand the interplay between intensity and consistency. You can't go to the gym for nine hours and get into shape. It doesn't work. But if you work out every day for 20 minutes, you will absolutely get into shape. The problem is, I don't know when. Again, we have to understand the interplay between intensity and consistency. You can't go to the gym for nine hours and get into shape. It doesn't work. But if you work out every day for 20 minutes, you will absolutely get into shape. The problem is, I don't know when. Powerful quote for a few different reasons. Let's break it down. Number one, it helps to make modest goals. This is tough for me, which is literally why I wrote The Bite Size Entrepreneur. This is the ultimate Bite Size Entrepreneur, which is a compilation of all three books. Thanks for making it a bestseller. It's called The Bite Size Entrepreneur because that is not natural to me. It might not be natural to you. If you want to go ahead and uh, become the proverbial millionaire, or if you want to become a bestseller, or if you want to lose 50 pounds or whatever that thing is, that metric that you consider successful or your next goal, it's easy to say, all right, well, if I'm going to become a millionaire, then let me find out a way to become a millionaire. As opposed to saying, well, how do I pay down my debt? How do I invest in something that will be better over the years and that will accrue interest? How do I Come, come up with a side hustle, which is my thing, come up with a side hustle that will start to bring in passive income, which I talk about in my different books. We tend to get out of that mentality when we're focused on just trying to get it done, right? Very few people, take the millionaire example, very few people have become a millionaire within a month. I don't know any, actually. The people that I know in my circle who are millionaires or in some cases billionaires on paper, they worked on something for years. I mean, plural years, maybe decades in some cases. And so they had that longer vision, but that was a series of modest goals. Let me get this, let me get the website or the URL for my new business. Okay, great, I got that done. All right, let me go ahead and think about the product market fit or make the minimal viable product or whatever term you want to use from Silicon Valley. All right, let, let's get that out. Let me go and come up with the schematics and do that. Um, someone that I know is writing a book and she's working on 250 words a day. And as she mentioned in, in the discussion I had with her or the article I read about her, 250 words a day, if you do that every single day, then at the end of the year, you got a nice sized book, probably bigger than some of the books that I've written. And so consistency, again, is much better than intensity. I tend to be an intense person. So I find myself trying to hold back a little bit and say, I don't have to go full throttle Let's go for the marathon rather than the sprint. So number one, creating modest goals allows you to achieve those things. Number two, if you need help with that, pair it with a big vision. So you want your actions to be short-term and your visions to be long-term. Your actions to be short-term, your visions to be long-term. I think about the, the founder of Patagonia and his name slips my mind right now, but I've written about him over at inkdamonbrown.com. It's my ink column. There's 500 columns. I talk about him in a couple of the columns. Um, so blessings to him. I think he's still alive, but he was he was up in age. I think he was a little bit under the weather when I wrote about him a while ago. But anyway, the founder of Patagonia said that they're not actually having a vision for a five-year plan. They have a vision for a hundred-year plan. So whatever strategic decisions they're making, it's a hundred years out. Think about that framework. So you can't muscle your way through. You can't intense your way through it. Heck, in a hundred years, you're probably not gonna be alive. I probably won't in a hundred years, right? And so even if I was a baby, I probably wouldn't be alive. And so you have to think strategically. As I talk about in other discussions and videos, you have to talk about systems rather than just habits. You can't just muscle your three through. You can't force it. You can't hurry up. You're talking 100 years out. Um, another video, another discussion I have is about the famous, now famous Bill Gates quote, where we over underestimate what we can do in 10 years, but overestimate what we can do in two years. In other words, we often don't have the patience 
and believe in that natural, not even attrition, but that natural um, compound interest, if you want to call it that, in the work that we do every day. Me talking with you and doing these short videos, that's a long-term discussion. That's not going to be an overnight thing. You can't overnight these videos. You start the discussion and then you continue the discussion. And you get feedback and you continue the discussion. The seven books that I've written in the past four years, including, again, the upcoming Build From Now, January 2021, they weren't fast books, even though they came out fast. But those were based on research and coaching and all my TED Talks and all my keynotes and all my work and me selling my startup and me doing a previous startup. And all that took several years. They were coming out fast. But if you buy any of my books from um, upcoming build from now to the precursor, bring your worth um, to the original bestseller, the ultimate bites of the entrepreneur, they all have different information that wouldn't be possible in a short period of time, unless I put in the work beforehand. So that's like going to the gym and bench pressing 400, I can't even do it right, bench pressing 400 pounds. You're not gonna come in with that. But if you've been going and doing your reps, as they call it, 20 minutes a day, as uh, Simon Sinek said, if you've been doing that for years, you can do seven books in four years. That's not, not even meant as a flex or as a show off, just understanding that this process took a long time. That's why they're coming out rapidly. And that's why they're making the impact, hopefully, that they're making on the world. So number two, pairing it with a bigger vision helps you cultivate that patience and you know you can't rush through it. Lastly, and I love this one, is building a brain trust. And what I call brain trust, I talk about that in the Ultimate Bites as Entrepreneur. I have an ink column about it over at inkdavidbrown.com. Again, I have 500 columns on there. You can just look up brain trust or check out my other columns where I talk about brain trust. A brain trust, as they talk about in Washington, D.C. or think tanks, whatever, it's basically a group of people who love you, at minimum love your work, and will hold you accountable, excuse me, to what you say your goal is, right? So people who respect you, who love you, want to see you shine, and I want to hold you accountable to what you said you want to do. So if I say that I want to help people understand that the belief that they have to sacrifice everything to make their entrepreneur or creative mark is a myth, that is my main goal. I have a group of folks, I can name them right now, who will be like, well, you doing that book over there, or you taking advantage of this opportunity, or you spending or investing your money in that, that doesn't quite fit where you said you wanted to go a few years ago. But that over there that you're ignoring, that might get you closer. That ends up helping you knowing where your resources are. As I talk about in Bill For Now, Bill For Now is basically my new book is about all about resources. It helps you put where your resources where they're supposed to be. That's a whole different level. That matters in a different type of way. And it's so important to you understanding how you're going to spend your time, how you're going to make a true impact in the world. Because if you're going to make an impact in the world, it's not going to be an overnight thing, just like you bench pressing 400 pounds. I love the Simon Sinek quote. I hope it resonates with you too. If you want to learn more about mastering your resources and doing more, go over to buildfromnowquiz.com, buildfromnowquiz.com. It's obviously based on my upcoming book, Build From Now. It's a free quiz. It's three or four questions, all multiple choice. Hundreds of you have taken it, which I appreciate. And for each of them, I think it took like two minutes for, for the average person to, to, to take it. So it's super quick. It's free. It's easy, I'm being told. And you can learn what your best resource is, because if you learn what that is, then you can get a little bit closer to mastering it and even get a little bit of a flavor for the book that you can pre-order now through DamonBrown.net or straight through BuildFromNowQuiz.com. In the meantime, I hope this was awesome for you. I hope it was insightful to have this conversation. And remember to always bring your worth and that you can always build from now. Take care.